playing nice with Office on a Macintosh. In today's computing reality, uh, people really have to deal with the fact that Microsoft Office is uh, one of those things that you, you really have to be able to at least play nice with. But let's talk about Macintoshes first. What keeps people from switching to a Mac? Well, frankly, in my opinion, there's a couple of things. First of all, there's the stereotypes that Macintoshes are um, only for graphics people or only for video editing or, you know, frankly, only for um, college kids, you know, whatever. Um, I, obviously, that's not the case, but that's one of those things people have to deal with. Another one is the cost. Macintoshes cost a lot more, um, but that's because they control all the hardware. They control the hardware so they can charge a premium, but because they control the hardware, everything works together from you know, the Mac to the iPhone to the iPod. Um, you know, it, it all, it all, and finally, compatibility. People have to be able to know that the things that they do at, at work on a Windows machine will work on their uh, Macintosh at home. Further, they have to know that the files that they create at home, they'll be able to send to their friends or whatever that may not be Mac users. And the killer app that we're all dealing with in this video is Microsoft Office. So the killer app is Office. We have different options. One is to use a virtual computer running Windows, uh, namely VMware Fusion or Parallels, on which you would just install Windows. I mean, it works great, uh, Windows and Office. Apple, of course, has their own Office suite. It's called iWork. The latest version is 2008. It includes a presentation package, a spreadsheet, and a word processor. Uh, and the last thing that we're going to talk about is OpenOffice, which is an open source implementation of a Office suite which is compatible with Microsoft Office. So let's get into some demonstrations. The simplest way to uh, run Office on your Mac is just by running Parallels or Fusion uh, and with Office on top of it. So here I have uh, Fusion running with Windows XP Pro and on here I've installed Office 2007. Come up here, Microsoft Office, and we have all the tools. Here's Access, Excel, Outlook. I mean these are these are the real deal. Uh, if we fire up Word, we can check that out. Make ourselves a nifty little document. This is a nifty, nifty little doc. And, uh, you know, this, there, there's just nothing to it this way. This is running a real office. It runs it fine. There's no problems. Uh, one thing that you will have to be aware of, especially with Office 2007, is that it uses a new file format, which is not compatible with uh, earlier versions of Office. So when you do your saves, you'll have to make sure to save it as the type Word 2003 document. Um, that way everybody else in the world will be able to use it as well as you'll be able to use it on your Macintosh using uh, text edit or other other things. Um, there is uh, there is support for the 2007 format as well but yeah, it's a little, little different. So, But in any, in any case uh, if you need to work with Office documents on a Macintosh and you have uh, Office for Windows as well as uh, VMware Fusion or Parallels this is a great way to go. Works great. So Apple's native Office suite is called iWork. I have a desktop shortcut here. iWork includes Keynote, which is presentation, Numbers, which is a spreadsheet, and Pages. So what I'm going to do is fire up pages here and we'll just take a quick look at what pages gives us. It starts off with a number of different templates. We have blank templates, letters, and uh, if we look at those modern, traditional, I mean templates are nothing new until we kind of get to the page layout. Where we've got newsletters and brochures and all sorts of neat stuff like that. But we'll just go with a blank document. Start off and say this is a word processing document in iWork. 
Alright, so nothing too special. You can add a table, um, change fonts, all the, all the things you'd expect. Um, one of the cool things though is the uh, media inspector. That allows us to pull in photos, audio, it doesn't make sense really, but it's part of the thing with their movies and things. But we pull in a photo, it's landed around very simple. Everything kind of processes around it. Resize it. And then when we use the inspector, here's the inspector. That's when we can start to have some fun with it. We can give it a picture frame, a hand drawn thing, fancy frame like that, whatever. Give it a shadow, turn on a reflection, kind of neat. There's all kinds of all kinds of slick things you can do with it. It's very, very neat. Um, when it comes to saving, the default is to save it as an iWork08 type, of course. Under the save copy as, you can save it in iWork06 or iWork05, which is fine. In order to save it into something that is usable in Word, if you're sending it to a business colleague or something, at that point you'll export it. And you can export it as a PDF, as a Word document, rich text file, or just plain text. So if I save it as a Word document, give it your name, your file, and you're off and running. That's it for that. And if we take one quick look at uh, numbers, won't bother with that. Fire up numbers. Again, it starts off and you can choose any number of uh, templates that you want. Uh, for this one, I'll go with the dinner party template. Um, spreadsheets are pretty cool, but pretty basic. But this allows uh, a lot more power and flexibility, actually. So here's uh, Sally's dinner party, which is uh, a spreadsheet. The thing to note, though, is that the recipes is one uh, sheet, if you will, but there's different tables on it. We've got this table here, right, with all its different cells. This table here with its different cells. We've got a photo brought in through the media, okay. And this has separate lists on it also. So here's uh, the invitation. And these you just drive, drop, drag and drop right out of the address book, shopping list, and things like that. So it's very slick, very powerful. And of course, you can just set up a, a new document. We'll just go with a blank one. All right, and then you can add three, four, five. You know, it's nothing, nothing too incredible. So, but when you start figuring that you can resize these things and move them around and so on, that's when it becomes pretty potent. So, and again, when we uh, can export to Excel, CSV, PDF, or you can just do a uh, regular save, and save it as a, a numbers document. But in terms of Office in our operation, you're doing the export. And Keynote is the same thing. I'm actually making this video with Keynote. Um, and uh, again, you can export it as a PowerPoint presentation. Similarly, you can import or just open Word documents, Excel, and so on like that using iWork. Very slick.